こんにちは日本語がわかりますか英語がわかりますか<笑>私はコーメンキミです。And I am your favorite! j a m a i c a n New Yorker! In last week's video, I practiced Hiragana 1, 2, 3, and 4 from Duolingo with you guys, which you can check out here. In this week's video, I am going to be teaching you Hiragana, the letters, and how to write them. I'm also going to be reviewing it for myself. Because you know, we could always do it a little review view. So that's what we're gonna do. I didn't realize when I was first starting out learning the Japanese alphabet that there's a specific way to write it. I had no idea, y'all. So I was just writing. I was just out here writing and it was all wrong. <laughs> so I finally learned the right way to write them. So I'm going to be teaching that to you. AKA reviewing it with you and also the pronunciation that I learned. So follow me to the whiteboard. <laughs> no, no. This is the fundamental, basic, foundational part of the language. That's what I've learned so far. Not a Japanese teacher, just somebody that you can learn Japanese with. Student to student. You give me what you've learned, I give you what I've learned. So this is the Japanese alphabet. Let's go through it and start with the vowels. Starting with A.、Ah. Do one of these, then you do a little sun sun like this, and then you do a little loop de loop, and that's ah ah. If you repeat it, it'll make it easier to learn. E. It looks like I think I did this too high. E. Move to o o to do a little. That and a little that. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Oh. This first, then this. Then a little. Oh. So, those are the vowels. Let me start from the beginning and write them out so you can see them. Those are the vowels. A, E, U, E, O. To the K sound, the K sounds. K for Kimmy! Ba -ba 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 Your favorite American New Yorker. Ba -ba 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 okay, K sounds. We have Ka, Ki, Cat, and then co. Ka, ki, ku, cat, co. Okay, now to the S sounds. It's sa, she, su. And so <laughs> they just got smaller as you went along, but that's what it looks like. Sa, she, su, se, so. Okay, moving right along. T sounds. Ta, starting with the long stroke first. Ta, chi, not t. Chi. Su. T. S. U. This one is longer. This part is longer than this. Te. Which is one stroke. And to. We'll just pretend that that part's connected. <laughs> It always gets smaller. Ta. Chi. Su. Te, to. Okay, moving right along, moving right along to the N sounds. Not starting with the short one, then this, then that little squiggle wiggle. Not, ni, 
Ni... Nu... Nu looks funky, but you get the vibe! Nu... I have to work on my ends, clearly. Ne. That is too big. Huh? Why can't I get my net? Na 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 na. Okay. Net. Net and then no. No. Na ni no net. No. No 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 no. Moving on to our H's. Ha. And then this one. And then the squiggly line. Ha. He. Like a heart, horseshoe. I'm going to be putting in the description box below another video that you can watch with someone writing on on paper with this and also saying the the sounds who is a native Japanese speaker. Like this is literally just for vibes so you don't have to feel like you're struggling by yourself. There's somebody else out here struggling just as much as you to learn this language. So if you want somebody to struggle together with, foo, there's an H in this joint. Then that little question mark for like, what? Who? Who said what? Then these little wingy things. Who? Then, hey, then, ho, ho. Ha, he, who, he, ho, fu. Like this. Or it sounds like who, who, who. Moving right along, moving right along to the ma 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 sounds. We have ma. Then we have me. Then we have mu. Wow, that why are my U's just failing? So <laughs> mu here. Bruh, what is that? <laughs> We're gonna go to get this right. Mu. Oh, better. Then we have met like an eye. Met and then squeezing that mop. Mop here, here, and here. Mop, ma, me, mop, met, mop. Now let's move right along. We're coming down noisily to the Y sounds. Now the Y sounds don't have a I sound or an E sound. So it's only ya, you, yo. That's it. Ya, you, yo. So let's do it. Ya, you. And yo. They kind of funky looking, but you get what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to go with a bit. You get it. You get it. Okay. Yes, are done. Wise are done. Now we move right along to the P's. Is that a P? No, that's an R. It's La. Yeah, then B, then Ru, Ru, then Then, then Ru. Which looks just like a three, which is not supposed to. Ru. Na, ri, ru, re, ro, ro. 
I still have a lot of work to do on my arts. But we're moving on to the last three characters for the hiragana side. I'll do katakana next week or another time. I don't know if I'll do this next week. We'll see. So now the double U sounds, oh, which is used a lot. It's like a grammatical thing. Oh, it was only those two. La, what? Why am I drawing a red? La, oh. Final member. She ain't got nothing to do with no A I U E or an O. Is mm, mm, that's it. N. That's it. Mm, mm. So those were all the hiragana. Hiraga. No. Which we should be able to he la got what was got? Holds up! Oh right, that's for another section in it. Technically it's a little something like this. Something like that. And then not. Which we know now. Hiragana, hiragana, oh, almost dropped my book. Hiragana, hiragana, hiragana. Anyways, this video is already too long. If you stuck around until this point, that means that you must like me. So if you do like me, then you should like this video. You should subscribe. You should comment below. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. Please, please, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Let me know in the comment section below how far along you are in your Japanese journey. What tips and tricks you use to learn the alphabet. Did you know that there was an order to writing the kanji? Because I didn't know. So hopefully you now know and can link me on all my socials. They're in the description box below. Next week, I'm going to be talking about how I discovered Pimsleur and how that has been so much better than Duolingo, which I've been doing for a year now. So stick around and I will see you next week. I'm Kimmy Coleman, your favorite Jamaican New Yorker, and I hope you have a good day or night or whatever time of the day it is for you. Okay, ja, mata.